Hey there guys, welcome back to SnowRunner, I'm MJ Haggis. Now, as you can see, I am still in the Twin Steer. The downside is, I don't have much fuel left. I've only got 62 of 280 litres. I did reverse out with the trailer of vehicle spare parts. I'm just outside of where we were. Now, fixing the fixers is the contact we need to do, which is fine, it's great. I'll show you on the map why. We are up here, and we only need to get down here to get the parts, all of them. Metal beams and service spare parts, and just take them back up there. Problem is, I ain't got enough fuel. I'll be lucky to probably make it to the corporate warehouse, but definitely not, not back. I don't think, anyway. Maybe, maybe manage one trip, but that's not good enough. We need to complete it. So, what I'm thinking is, I will nip back into the Institute, which we'll do right now. And we'll go into the Land Rover. It's the closest vehicle that's suitable, probably, to go through and take the jerry cans and stuff and refill the Twin Steer. That's what I'm thinking. If I need to do another run, then so be it. But if we can get the where the, the Twin Steer done with its contract, we're going to get our, our, our garage. That's the goal. And then we can refill as our leisure. So I'm going to jump back into the Land Rover, as we'll do. And I'll just drive through to the Twin Steer, get it fueled up, and we'll get started. So I think that's the best course of action. Okay, in the Land Rover. We have lots of fuel. I say lots. Uh, yeah, should we? I think we've got... Um, oh, wrong button. Refuel. Uh, no, I want from boot. Jerry cans. Large supply. See, that's the main one. We are good. So... I'll see you through in the Harvest Corp at the Twin Steer. Don't go anywhere. Okay, that was easy peasy. This Land Rover is so good. I can't say it enough. Anyway, right, let's refuel. Our supplies straight. I only used 25 litres of fuel to get across. That's so good. All right, job done. I'm going to park this guy just slightly out of the way. Might need him again. You can uh, nice and shaded. Sweet. Engine off. Change truck. Okay, now I am going to head down to the Corporate garage? No, that's the corporate garage. I'm going to the corporate warehouse. So, fire this thing up. A slight shortcut. Instead of going all the way round the roadway, you can cut through these trees. You just need to be a little bit careful. I'll try and show you the route. Or a direction. Ooh. Okay, that was not a good start. Easier in a smaller truck, but you can come through there. And you're basically going to head up over that hill, but watch out for some of the little ditches and stuff that's on this hillside. Yeah, uh, ditch there, but it's not too bad. This truck's quite good for it. Anything with lots of wheels and a long wheelbase, but I'm sure any truck's capable because you're only climbing over the hill. I'm going to go through these trees, and you're basically going to just join that road right in front of me. that water bit, I'm sure there's a bit where you could easily tip over. If it's that little mound there where the mouse is, you could end up on your side. Just be careful of that. Yes, it's not used as much fuel as I thought, but I still wouldn't have liked to have chanced it.
probably going to take first. Um, I am probably going to have to double stack the metal beams and the service spare parts, unfortunately. If I'd had the trailer, it would have been a bit easier, but obviously they can't do that until later on. So let's... Let's, ooh, let's try another button. A button there. Metal beams. Okay, load. And on the loading platform. Yes, please. That already there. I think it might be. And we'll take a service spare parts to the back. Service spare parts onto the truck. So, so we'll just put them on top and then we can easily get the last three service spare parts onto this Paystar. Right, let's have a little bit of anchor action and crane action. I think I used the twin steer for this last time. If I recall correctly, I could be completely wrong. It would be surprising. You slide in there. Perfect. Right, release the winch and drop the crane on top just to try and keep it a little bit in place. Okay, anchors back in. Sweet. Looks like the right gear. And off we go. First delivery. Frustratingly, there's a contract which is locked called Airport, which gives you a fuel station on this map. But you can't do it until you've done fixing the fixers, which ultimately will give you fuel if you take your truck back to the garage. So, there's no way around it. Short of bringing your own fuel trailer and leaving it on the map somewhere. That might not be a bad idea, actually. If you're coming through anyway and you haven't got a trailer, and you happen to be passing the limited number of trailer stores, consider bringing one with you. Okay, we're getting a bit bogged down. That is quite heavy, I have to admit. Oh, the rain. I'm sure it does it just to remind me that I'm in Scotland. Carefully back up the hill. The last thing you want to do is tip over. Right, into high ratio maybe. And I'm thinking I shouldn't have mentioned anything about tipping over because that's probably what I'm about to do now. to reverse him, it's just as easy for me now. In fact, it's probably easier than trying to go in head first. Yeah, how much fuel did we have before? I gave it 300, we're already down to under 200. So there was no chance of me doing it. 62 litres to start with, wasn't it? Something like that. Anyway, cargo management. We will get rid of the service spare parts and one metal beams. We pack up those ones. Get rid of those ones. Okay. Doing well. Last trip. I believe the cane with it is. Here we go. I'm going to make it round in one. Without damaging the land over, maybe. Yeah, 
Yeah, see? I think that's a good route, or as good as any. I mean, you could probably just follow the road. In fact, talking of which, just let's get up the hill. I want to see. Just to remind myself, and potentially you guys, go back into a clinic. Yeah, so if you go the road, it's a long way round and you've got to cut through. You've got probably something nasty there, maybe. That doesn't look too clever, or you can just go straight over. Yeah, I think going over the hills probably definitely the shorter way. Maybe we'll use the the skills of the Land Rover, the, the extra features, which is the the capabilities of the prototype exploration unit. And we'll just clear out a little bit more of the edges of the map to make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. I don't think we gain anything from it. As soon as the Land Rover's here as well. Go on. In 54 years. Crikey. It's such a close distance. Come on, why are you slowing down like that? Come on. Don't need to worry about the crane actually because this will all fit. So let's restore the crane. Service spare parts will have. Stay in the truck. One, two, and three. Okay, thank you very much. Pleasure doing business. See you later. We will be back. Task, once this is completed, would be getting the bridge open requires two metal beams and obviously now we've got an unlimited supply just in there that would be quite wise might be something we do very soon Oh yeah. Oh, the rain stopped. Ah, cheeky wee shower, was it? Yeah. Bring out the sun. Almost follow the tracks now. Excuse me. Ow, that was unnecessary. Reversing once again. Right. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Oh, what a disappointment. I say disappointment, we've got a garage, but it's just two boxes, no cutscene, no big garage getting built up, nothing. It says here, that's just what we need. With this, we should be able to get the shop running in a jiffy. But we've got 23,800 cash for that. 2,120 XP, 
and the rewards were the garage now available and access to the location. Accept. Location being, well, I'm not too sure. That seems to be where you come out of the garage, and obviously that's where you go in the garage. But talking of which, let's just do that. Let's put this guy away, get fully fueled and repaired. I'll do the same with a Land Rover. Garage just got it. In fact, there's the, the unfinished bridge. The task has appeared already with the two metal beams. So that opens up this bridge here, which is probably quite handy. Clearly you can go around. It's not that difficult, to be honest, but it's nice to get open. Got a lot of log stuff to do. Oh, I need to figure out how we do that. So, anyway, back in the garage. Here we go. Right, we'll retain you. I'll quickly jump in the Land Rover. Good job. We got a wee spruce up. There we go. I'm going to retain you. Now, I know I did talk about getting the unfinished bridge done, but I would like to... Again, I'm going to show you the map. This is the airfield right here, and you can get a fuel station somewhere in it, which would be quite nice, especially if you're coming through maybe from the Heartlands and you're getting a little bit low on fuel, you could get round to there. I don't know if there's any other shortcuts. Maybe you could cut north here and cross here and then go into it. Looks like that's what they're intending. Having not been that route yet, I don't know. But that involves... Let's get it up. Where are you? Airport, no, it's right at the top. Refueling services, and we need four oil barrels. Okay, let's accept that. Oil barrels are not anywhere nearby. Definitely not on this map. Ain't that typical? Okay. Oil barrels, I believe... The only location is back in the crossroads, and guess where that is? Yep, right down at the railway terminal. <sighs> what a drive. So, on that note, I did prepare. How impressed are you? <laughs> I impress myself there sometimes. But what I did was, now, on the recommendation from a subscriber, Ian Petit, um, he had suggested a mod, which is the a trailer pack. I have linked it below along with a logging trailer pack. And in that is a set of trailers that are realistic. You would get it out in real life. Not sure if you get them in all locations. Um, I'm going to guess it's more maybe a European side of things. And I'll show you. It's It's got foreign names, but the gist of it is definitely there. Uh, let's go into my truck if I can find it. I don't know if it's the right one. Okay. We're in the pike. The wrong pike. I bought another pike, because I like them so much, I thought I'll buy another. Plus it's, oh in fact I don't want to start the engine, I want to change the truck. Can we change the truck please? No, nope, can't reach it. There's a surprise. There's one pike, two pike. I wish you could kind of like, pike A, pike B, or, or something like that. Very similar, he's got the low saddle, got the crane, got the roof rack. Pretty much kitted. Slightly different paint job. He's the red, black, with a bit of an orange pipeline in. He's the orange and black. But the trailer is the more important thing here. There's a selection of trailers, and this is a four-slot trailer. Which is very realistic. It's got sides to stop stuff falling out. I've never used it. I've driven it from the trailer store to here. Um, there are others. and Do uh, you know what? I have prepared... Just to show you this mod. How's the time? We've got time. Shall we do it? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. This won't take long. I have the Tega here that I brought purely for this purpose of showing you. Right, in my mods and options, obviously we've got vanilla in this. Off-road is the original pack that I got, which is basically just, it raises the suspension slightly and gives you tires that don't seem to act like anchors, which is great in itself. So anything with off-road leading into it is that pack. And then you've got things like this trailer with four seats. So it's a dollied one with four. Nice. I think it's anything really with these stanchions on it. 
is going to be of that nature. Six bed. That's vanilla. Off-road. Again, it's got the sides for forest stuff. Okay, that's vanilla. Three medium logs. That's quite handy. This is one of the ones. It's got a, a, a pronunciation of that would be um, bad. But you can see it's got little add-ons and stuff on it. Um, I'm not sure. If you were to put it on your truck and drive round... In fact, if I, for example, let's buy that. And then you open up, you can see it's four slots. Trailer, four slots. And I think it also comes with fuel on it. Refuel. 700 litres of fuel on this. So, you quite often get trailers that do carry its own fuel. So it's not unrealistic. Anyway, so that's the gist of it, guys. Brilliant set. There's, m there's more trailers. Way more trailers. So if it's something you're interested in, I have linked it below. Take a wee look. Again, I'm on the PC. Whether it's for console, I have no idea. I do not have this game uh, for the console. It may well be. It will be. The information will be there on the, the SnowRunner website. So, on that basis, let's get back to our pike. Uh, this pike, if I can get to it. That one? Nope, that one. Right, so, four lots of oil barrels to get to this airport. I think we'll give it a go. That's correct, correct, correct. One. And four. Nicely packed in there. So I think what we'll do is we'll go for a wee drive, I'll keep you with me for the first wee bit so you get to see the new similar pike and the trailer. See how it reverses. Because originally I was thinking about using the one in the background, it was the off-road five-slot semi-trailer. And then this was mentioned to me, so I quickly downloaded it, had a very quick look at it. And like I say, other than driving from the trailer store to here, that's all my actual experience with it is. But it looks good. Nicely detailed, not pristine brand new, a little bit of like flaking paint and the lights work. Yeah, lights are working. And that was close to the gate. Right, let's go. And again, I, I'm using the Pike as opposed to... I could have used the Tega, I could have used a number of truck twists, but... Like I said, in a, once we got onto this region, I wanted to use the Pike as much as possible since we've gone. He proved himself very capable when we used the other sideboard trailer before, so... I didn't think he would struggle with this. We're gonna drift that trailer. What feels like nighttime setting in? Anyway, right, hold on. Now that we've kind of got on the move, I need to set waypoints because we are going to Harvest Corp. Be there. Harvest Corp. Heartlands Institute. Yeah, we can't go straight through. There is no direct route straight through. Easiest way, is it to Heartlands and then Harvest Corp? You're going to have to forgive me. I The shortest route eludes me at this moment. Uh, Institute through here and where is the um, there's Harvest Corp so we could go up here and try and cross and go through that way and if that comes through into Harvest Corp from the Heartlands Harvest Corp from the Heartlands where's the other gateway Heartlands or the Institute makes no odds really which one we come through Probably come through from the Heartlands because then we do get to come through this bit. Okay, that's what we'll do. We're heading for the Heartlands. Um, and we are here. Ah, I'm all over the place. Heartlands. So, basically, right along the road, we'll top up with fuel at this gas station on the way out. And you know what? You've seen all of this so many times. Um, it's a basic drive. I'll do the drive. Anything happens, you'll know about it. And I'll see you through in the Heartlands. Fingers crossed. Time is definitely ticking on. Right, back in a sec.
Welcome to Harvest Corp, guys. Okay, who spotted the deliberate mistake? When I was looking at the maps to get through to the Harvest Corp, I kind of like did pick the wrong route. I'll show you what I mean. So we are down here. We're going to head north and try and cut over this a little bit, open up a little bit more of the map and get this oil dropped. If I come through, which I came through the Heartlands, as I said, but it's a completely different route. I th was thinking maybe the Institute and going north, but you don't. Coming through from the crossroads, you come through this way and you go all the way across this map too. So basically it was fine. It was just a nice drive through. Picked up some fuel up here at the gas station and then I, then I came through. Nice and easy. Only bit that caused a little bit of a, not an issue. I had to use, use the winch once was, yeah, was about this point here. I'd use the winch and that was it. Handled really, really well. So anyway, back to the drop-off, because time is ticking on. And we are here, so I'm going to set a waypoint there and there. And that's as far as that gets to... Yeah. We'll worry about crossing when we get to that one. Engine on. Oh, I did pick up a wee bit of damage as well. Um, <laughs> I, I was not focused on my driving, I was just looking about the place as I tend to do, and I crashed straight through a sign. And it caused a bit of suspension damage. Okay. This is the main part. We haven't seen this yet. And we're going to really test out the pike. Trailer's been really, really good. So thank you, Ian, again for that recommendation. I, I like it. I'll probably be using these a lot more. And having the option of a four slot instead of always using the five slot is quite nice. Okay, this is as far as the first waypoint get. Everything else was kind of the unknown. No idea what the terrain was throwing at us. This is quite nice. And it's a beautiful day. That's roughly in the distance where the waypoint shows where we're cutting right to go over to the airport. Okay. I really hope that's a proper crossing or nothing. That is like a red herring. Yeah, come this way, come this way. You're going to drown. It's the kind of thing that he almost did in the very first Mudrunner game was they would lead you... You couldn't tell how deep the water was. It could be deep enough to totally submerge it. You didn't know. It was kind of was there symbols on the map to kind of give you an indication. But uh, it was a wee bit of an unknown. This, since Snowrunner, it, there's nothing been that particularly deep. Okay. Okay, let's get low ratio. I don't see any obvious crossing points other than just kind of straight across. There's tracks leading out there, but that's a nasty big stone there. How do you get out around that? Or do you go up this way and round, I think, maybe? Okay, this could be a rescue. First time for everything and all that. Let's head for the stones, I know it's shallow. You could probably actually get out there, when the stones there. This could be deeper than it looks. I'm trying to just bump up there. But it's just if you're trying to then turn and your wheels mount up over this big rock, you could end up tipping over. Ah, this is fine. We need to panic. Excellent. Another fairly easy crossing. Let's try and zoom on. Bump coming up on this corner, I see. 
Mm. Picking about an engine damage if you go rattling into that. There's the helicopter in the background. At least if it had animation. We we'll probably cut straight through the but I've just noticed a lot of tree stumps, so I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to follow the road. Try to dodge that big boulder. Anything in this marsh? I do not see anything. Any note? I'm always dubious about going through marshes in case it's much nastier. It's like super mud and there's no trees or tree stumps to winch to. But that was that was easy. Barely slowed down actually. Might get this pike back to the garage for the wee wee tune up again. Since he's taken a little bit of damage. I'm not so fussed for using the fuel that's in the trailer that comes with it as a mod. It's nice to have, but clearly it's one of those things, if you think it's too cheaty, just don't use it. I'm going to try not to use it as much as possible. Try and stick to what the game generally gives us. Where's this fuel station going? Ooh, that helicopter's seen a better day. That crop sprayer. Could be, I don't know. And for what are we gonna get? No cutscene. Where's the fuel? I don't know. Anyway, what's it say? You made it. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Either way, we're already expecting our first plane to come in, thanks to you. Oh, and feel free to use the fueling pump we have here if you need it. Yes, I will, thank you. 5,400 cash, 680 XP, and we will accept. So where's the fuel? Let's look at the map. Oh, it's way over there. Okay. Let's go and have a quick look before I end the episode, guys, so we don't mind. Just a few more minutes. Let's get turned, actually. Jackknife out of the way. Mm -hmm. Don't do anything nasty now. There we go. Done so well. How breezy look at that windsock, it's almost horizontal. Nice animation though. Again, look at the detail that they've put into making this place feel like it's used. Amazing. Awesome. Guys, I thank you once again for taking the time to view. I really do appreciate it. If you want to subscribe, the button will be appearing about there. Um, the bell icon also lets you know when the next one comes out. So, thank you again. You'll see me again soon. Bye for now.